Good morning to America. Um, when they got to win, when they came back with that story or when her mom called me and said alcohol poison, um, I know it wasn't alcohol poison. So, um, it just turned my life upside down. My life had changed. Um, but I asked God to show me what really happened over there in Mexico Cabo. And then uh, everything began to start unfolding because I wasn't giving up. You know, I paid for her to get back over here, the lady down in the funeral home. I had to look for her that Monday morning, start looking where she was. You know, um, I ain't know nothing about no Mexico Cabo. You know, and these friends, so-called friends, I want every last one of them over there. Not just one, as every last one of them, because you know, my daughter she's not a fighter. You know, I I ain't raised her to be that that kind of way. I raised her to love and respect people. You know, I'm a people person. You know, I try to make sure you put yourself around people that not gonna do no body body harm to you. You know, just like me. You know, um, treat people kind, respectful. You know. I always teach her never look down on nobody. For the blink of an eye, you could be in that same position they are, you know. Oh, I ain't never met them. I ain't never saw none of them, you know. One thing I knew, a mom told me that um, they went to college with her. That's it. That's all I knew, you know. For them to do what they did, and when I looked at that video, you know, I got to give, you know, high praise to NCBB because he's the one who took on the story and got the story moving like it was, because I'm, I'm old school. I don't be on Facebook, Twitter, media, n n none of that, you know. I'm just behind the scene of her life. I'm just a family man, go to work, do what I suppose to do, respectful man, you know, take care of my responsibility, you know, and thinking that I was going to see her again this weekend, the weekend that she, put, you know, went down there, and then, and then they come back with that story, bringing her luggage back and not her, you know, and that sad story going to come to her mom, her sister house and sit right there in front of them and eat their food and tell that story that it was alcohol poison, sir. And then I sit there in that funeral home and them doors open and she was in that box, you know, and I looked at her and so I saw a knot on her head. It seemed like her eye was swollen. It had a cut on the lip, you know. I said, no, it wasn't alcohol poison. And so the lady finally called me and gave me the information. But now your daughter, I said, what she died of? She said, your daughter died of a um, broken neck and a um, broken spinal cord. And I said, well, they say alcohol poison. She said, no, man, no, Mr. Robson. It wasn't alcohol poison in her system. Then all of a sudden that video came out. <laughs> y'all don't, I don't know if y'all got daughters, you know, sons, but, um, uh, for a human being, supposed to be your friend, you know, to do another person like that, who give them authority to take another life and come back here like it's okay, knowing she got a father that loved her greatly, been in her life ever since she came into this world, and God blessed me with that seed. Every day is a struggle for me because, you know, she's not here. I can't be a granddaddy, you know. Can't even walk her down the aisle. Can't hear a voice. But they can hear, they can talk to their parents, you know, for them to come back here, sir, and then they call me, didn't reach out to me, ain't say, Mr. Robin, we're sorry about your loss, ain't tell me what happened, but you're going to tell that sorry story to her mom and her sister, you know, she got a father, she got a loving father, you know, and I know for a fact it wasn't no alcohol poison because she don't roll like that. She might, you know, she drank a little, but not no alcohol poison.